Hey now, what's with all the hate I've been saying? 90% of y'all don't even know what this is or like Jordan's past 12s. Some of y'all might like 13s, but the majority of y'all don't even like it past the 12. The 5%, I get. I understand what you're saying, but I still don't understand where the hate is coming from. And then the other 5%, I got something for y'all. Thank you for kicking it with me at the crib today. I'm your boy Homegrown Kicks, but you can call me HG, all my friends do. And if you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button to become part of the family and kicking it with me in the future. I greatly appreciate you. Now, if you like what you see in today's video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you got something you want to get off your chest or if you want to let me know what you want to see for future videos, put all of that in the comments. I'll respond to each and every one. Now, getting into today's video, like I said, for the people that have no clue what this shoe is, or don't even like the shoe or know the history behind the shoe, why even comment? The only thing I can think of is it just popped up in your feed, you saw it and felt like you had to express your opinion. And that's okay. But I just don't understand why the hate is so strong. Now for my nostalgic people and my OGs, I definitely get it. If you want it done, you want it done right. You're goddamn right. I'm the same way, but sometimes change is good. What? I niggas tripping. And for my people that actually like the shoe, I got something for you as well. And we're gonna be talking about it and getting into some of the things that I noticed that are different and some of the things that are the same. And what shoe am I talking about? I know y'all are ready to see it. It is these right here, the Air Jordan 14 Ladies. Now, this is not a retro or a re-retro because in my opinion, a retro is a remake of the original, and this is definitely not the original. It might have the same colorway and might be on the similar silhouette, but the originals that released back in 1999 were a low. Why did I pick this shoe up? Because this was the very first shoe, not this one in particular, but the Laney 14 low was the very first shoe that I bought Back in 1999, when I was a kid, I saved up money doing odd jobs around the house and in the neighborhood. And I went to the store looking to get me a pair of Jordans, trying to be like one of the cool kids. And this Laney was what was sitting on the shelf. I loved the color because my favorite color is blue. I love the look of it, despite what a lot of y'all might say or think. Uh, I know nobody considers a Jordan past the, the 12 or maybe the 13. I did see this, I loved it. I bought it with my own money and it was one of the best feelings I ever experienced. Do, do y'all have any stories like that where as a kid, you know, y'all wanted to buy the cool shoe and you saved up money and you were able to buy the cool shoe that you wanted y'all let me know about that those are always really good stories a good nostalgic feel but looking at the upper you get a really nice solid blue durabuck upper uh new buck durabuck type material like a timberland boot that's what it feels like so you don't really get a color change backstroke motion that you all like to uh, talk about when you talk about different levels of suede, you don't get that here, but it's still a really nice blue color nonetheless. Now, is it close to the originals? I don't know, because like I said, I'm going off of memory, but if you do know, let me know. On the toe box, you get a really nice um, new buck material in a deep, rich black dye. Now, it does not have that backstroke uh, color change motion on the toe box either, or not that I can see. Um, your pair might be different because, you know, like we all know, pairs vary. But from what I can see, it does not have that uh, color change motion. But one thing I will say about this upper and the toe box, you might really want to consider spraying it with some kind of protectant because if it does get dirty or um, if you do have to wash it, these look like these are pretty much cooked. Like the color is going to fade out pretty quickly. And unless you know how to re-dye the shoe, I don't think you're gonna like the look of it. So always spray your shoes like this with some kind of protectant to keep the look rich and lasting as long as you possibly can. Now, onto the midsole. You get a really nice squishy foam midsole. Um, one thing that I did notice or that I feel like I noticed, the difference between these and the original lows is the type of 
gloss coat or coat that they put on there in the type of paint. Now I do kind of remember like this iridescent sparkly look to it, but this one looks a lot duller and a lot cheaper. I hate to say it, but it looks a lot cheaper than the original. Now another thing I noticed that looks a little different is the teeth. I remember the teeth being a lot thicker on the lows um, and like I said, coated a lot better. It seemed like the paint and the coating were a lot better quality than they are on here. I could be wrong because like I said, I don't have my original pair anymore. My mom made me give it to the Goodwill. But with a few wears, I do remember noticing that the clear coat did kind of come off. So you could really tell how thick it was and the type of material that was underneath it. And this just doesn't look like, feel like, or seem like the same thing. Now on the toe box, you get kind of a chunky rubber um, outsole that comes up to the toe box and it seems a little extra thick, even for a mid 14. I don't know, I don't know. Am I tripping? Y'all let me know, am I tripping? Now you get a really nice yellow Jumpman logo. On the tongue, you get a really nice suede tongue. One of the things that seems like it's missing is like a tongue tag, like you would see on the 13 on the front. I remember, I think I remember the Lowe's having one that said like Jordan or the Roman numeral 14. Again, I could be wrong. This is, this is the memory of a child. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to remember everything from back then. But one thing I do remember specifically is this yellow piece up here. Now the tongue was a lot shorter, of course, cause it's a low, but I do remember this piece and it would like rub up against my leg and it wasn't always the best feeling. But once I got kind of situated in the shoe and I got it to my likings, I didn't notice it after a while. Now one thing I do like about 14s is you get these aluminum tip aglets with the Jumpman logo on it. That's that's a really nice touch. You get these Ferrari louvers on the side because that's what this shoe is modeled after a Ferrari. Um, one of Jordan's, I guess, favorite cars that he had maybe, or he just really liked Ferraris. Uh, I, I don't know the story behind that, but these are definitely modeled after Ferrari. On the inside, you get a really thin, cheap black insole with uh, a Jumpman logo on it. And I don't know if you can see um, through the inside or if you look on the medial side, you get a vent on the side back here. Another representation of a Ferrari. So I will say this, this is not a shoe that you wanna get caught in the rain wearing. Do not wear this on a rainy day. I'm telling you, your feet will get soaked through and it, it'll just be a miserable time. Take my advice on that. Now on the back, you got that tire tracks on the back and that was one of the things that a lot of og heads do not like about this mid the fact that it says 23 instead of jordan y'all let me know what y'all do y'all prefer the jordan or the logo on the back it's, it's it's a personal preference kind of thing one thing that really stood out to me and i mean really stood out to me is this logo right here on the side now on the lows, of course, it's gonna be a lot smaller because it's a low, but this seems large. And I mean large, even for a mid. So for anybody who has a lot of 14 mids, did y'all think this seemed a little large? Does this, or is it me? Am I just tripping? Um, on the bottom, you got a all black bottom. You've got this Ferrari inspired design going all the way to the bottom. This is not carbon fiber. The only ones that I know of, that I know of, that have carbon fiber from Jordans 1 through 14 or 1 through 15, because I do like 15s, are the 11s, the 12s, and the 13s. Those are the only ones that I can remember that have carbon fiber. This one, this might be a plastic or a rubber or a combination of both on the shank, but this is definitely not carbon fiber. And then up here, you get a really nice yellow badge with the Roman numeral 14s. Looking at this shoe and putting it all together and giving my thoughts and opinions, um, I would grade this probably a seven. The materials definitely feel a little thin, like if you rubbed up against something that it would scratch straight through the side panels. For a price tag of $210, and this, this is not a $210 shoe in my opinion. This is more so of a 
190, 150 ish, somewhere in that price range level shoe at $210. If you look at the resale market now, what these are going for on like Golden StockX, these are going for around that $300 price range in the original look. The 2015, 1998 pairs are going for that $300 price range. And if you want a nostalgic feel, an extra 80 bucks, or maybe you can get it for a little cheaper, in my opinion, is definitely worth it. So, and yeah, this kind of falls short of the mark, but it is still a good shoe that you can just wear around. And when you put your jeans over it, you won't even know whether it's a mid or a low, and you can get that nostalgic feel without having to, I guess, pay a little bit extra. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Did y'all get them? And if you didn't get them, why did you, you know, pass these up? I'm, I'm actually interested in knowing what your views and opinions are of these beyond the fact that you just hate 14s. What are your views and opinions on this Laney 14? Uh, before I go, I cannot leave y'all without saying nothing is impossible. Fight for everything you believe in. Don't let anything stand in your way. And drink hungry. Until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.